What happens when you hire Hero by himself to beat the game for you from start to finish? Let's go and find out. First, my goal is to summon Hero by into the world and use his abilities to get the materials to summon hundreds more. Second, I have to upgrade my Hero by army to the point where they can build entire empires, but there might be a catch. And last but not least, I have to try to defeat a giant army of dragons, but instead of weapons, I can only use my hundreds of Hero by soldiers. Can I do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to help me hit 3 million subscribers, go ahead and subscribe today and help us hit one whole like. Anyways, guys, enjoy the Video. Okay, so apparently this is gonna work. So here, Brian? Oh, a great evil draws near. More and more undead mobs rise. There's no time to explain it. Take this. What the heck is this? <laughs> Build me an army, make them strong, and help me stop this great evil. See you soon, player. Well, welcome guys to Minecraft, but here Brian is gonna be beating the game for me, and it looks like a lot of undead mobs are already attacking me. Okay, I should probably head down quick. Here Brian gave us suspicious bones, suspicious flesh, and a corrupted soul, which has a mysterious crystal given to you from King Here Brian. I wonder how we use it. All right. Right, that is quite the star guys and apparently we're gonna be using the drops from the undead to build an army so apparently if i put one corrupted soul and then rotten flesh next to each other we get a soul summoner used to summon a cursed soul okay well i'm gonna be making a ton of these we can also make them with bones and just like that 12 soul summoners and i'm gonna go ahead and guess that when we place this down also gonna grab this wrong flesh we're gonna be getting literally our own hero brian so where is he oh there he is how's it going here brian you can't really talk but because you're gonna be beating the game for us I'm gonna go ahead and give him one wooden pickaxe and oh he is now a digger here Brian all right but before we do anything else let's go ahead and make one more wooden sword and summon a couple more here Brian so uh three more there very nice let's upgrade this guy to a woodcutter oh and there he is the lumberjack here Brian look at him go and we're not done there because this here Brian right here we're gonna give you a sword upgrade an assault here Brian which I'm gonna guess he doesn't really kill anything around us for now but we also do have one more thing and oddly enough with a red flower we can also upgrade here Brian and what do they become? Oh, a healer here, Brian. Well, we got our here, Brian's right there. I'm gonna guess that we now gotta upgrade them to stone and then we can get the really good ones. So with that being done, let's head down. All right, we got everyone back real quick. And now what we gotta do is definitely go to the next tier of upgrades. So before anything, let's go ahead and make a stone pickaxe, stone sword. And I'm not sure what else we can make just yet, but I think we can go ahead and upgrade this guy too. I'm gonna guess a stone one. Oh, okay. Swordsman here, Brian. And now he's gonna be a stone and leather guy. Not bad. And the digger here, Brian, is gonna be becoming a, I think a stone pickaxe guy. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh, he's mining now. Oh, I gotta make more of them. Oh, he's going down with the cave. Okay. Anyways, though, we gotta actually go ahead and make some more stuff. He did get me some cobblestone, and the next upgrades we need are actually gonna be a lot of iron stuff. So before we get to that, let me real quick actually cook a little bit of steak. Because oddly enough, one of the mains we're gonna be making is actually gonna require steak. So one sec, let me get the steak real quick. All right, and when we right-click here, Brian. Oh, oh. That's a big old spatula. We get a chef here, Brian. Oh, and he straight up just gives me food. Nice. Uh, swordsman, you might want to go fight there. Unless you already killed them. Oh, no, they're already killing people. Oh, my gosh. Wait, my pickaxe man is literally just going on and doing his stuff. 11 raw iron already. And I definitely need more soldiers because right now I don't think this is making the enough cut. So let's do this instead. So the thing is, I got to upgrade every single here, Brian, all the way to the top. So to get there first, I'm going to be needing a lot of guys with pickaxes. So let's go ahead and make five wooden pickaxes. I think that's a good start. And then I guess we'll spawn five of these two uh two and one more all right so this is gonna be a little bit weird but here you get one you get one literally re recruiting every single here brian in the game right now my goal is to not do anything in this game and just have you guys do everything for me oh my gosh oh look at him go okay so apparently these guys when i right click them they just go ham wait right click right click and right click oh my gosh it looks like they're going all the way down oh no wait don't go to bedrock oh no don't die don't die okay i gotta summon them back no don't die to lava let's go ahead and make some stone pickaxes and then start getting some good stuff so before we go a little bit deeper one two three four and uh we actually need one more i should have maybe gone a little bit more wood but my wood cutter might get me some more wood soon so like i said earlier i really don't want to do anything so let's just find it you get that you get one you get one and who am i missing now i feel oh and last one okay we got five stone ones and now i just gotta cook a lot of iron or wait all this iron is already cooked oh wait they're actually cooking the iron for me now all right so we can actually go ahead and make a bunch of iron big axes and literally not even make one for myself i am only going to be upgrading these here binds and they're gonna do the job for me so real quick all right you become an iron one. Oh my gosh oh look at him go okay so with the iron he becomes a driller here brian and he does a huge area okay there you go you get that you get that holy they're making a big area already okay you get that one too it's gonna 
be worth it, guys, because now that we're making a decent army now, we're going to have a lot of people mining for a lot of diamonds soon. And then we can get to the crazy ones, because apparently there's even guns in this one. But before we get to that, where is the sword guy? All right, here you go. You get a promotion, and now you are a samurai here, Brian. Oh, I kind of want to find a mob so you can fight them, but for now, I guess you kind of can just chill right there. And I also need some sand, actually. I think I can make a potion here, Brian. Okay, so we're going to cook that sand real quick, and something we can actually do, go ahead and do right now, is actually make a lot of more here, Brian. So we have seven rotten flesh, and I feel like by the end of this challenge, we're going to have a literal army of 100 here, Brian. So definitely stay tuned and go ahead and guess in the comments how many here, Brian, we're going to have by the end. And it looks like they're all doing a great job right now. They've literally mined out this entire area by a ton. Am I getting copper? I, I think the next upgrades are actually through copper. So before we do anything else, let's real quick actually get this copper cooking. One, two. And now that we have the glass, we can make one bottle. And with this bottle, with one new here, Brian, right here, how's it going here, Brian? We can actually go ahead and make this guy into, what is this? Oh, a potion master here, Brian, which what do you do? Do I just right click you? Oh my gosh. That is actually really OP. Every time I right click this guy, he literally just gives me level five potion effects. I mean, don't mind if I do, I might as well take it. And uh, so for now, let's recall these guys again, see what they're up to. Right now, we're getting actually a pretty decent army. Actually, wait, let's take them down here. Maybe they'll mine a lot down here. Oh, look at them go. Okay, getting this many pickaxe guys was definitely a good idea. We're getting so much copper. Eight raw copper. Now we got to figure out what else we can make with the hero Brian. Oh man, I also got to find some undead guys because if I'm going to make a hero Brian army, I need more skeletons and more zombies. So oddly enough, with copper, we're going to be making some brand new items in Minecraft and this might be a little bit cursed. Let me put one more cool right there. But with three copper ingots, we're going to be making a copper pickaxe. So, you know, stay with me guys. You know, it's completely normal. Kind of, not really, but let's go ahead and make a copper pickaxe, copper sword, and we can even make apparently a copper bow, but we don't have a mine shaft yet, but I'm assuming my hero binds are going to be doing that soon. And another hero bind I can also apparently make is if I summon one more hero bind right here, and then I give him one crafting table, he becomes, what is this? A crafter hero bind. So what do you do, buddy? Do, do I just right click you? Oh, he's literally a walking workbench. All right. So something I actually need a little bit more of is wood. So I'm going to go ahead and get that now. And I should probably also go deeper down the caves. What are these guys doing right now? They've literally mined out a giant area. Okay, guys. Okay, here, Brian. You are doing a great job right now. What the heck? And this is only the iron tier. Actually, wait, before we go get some wood, what happens if I give you copper? Oh, he's dropping gold and copper ingots now. Well, don't mind if I do. I will gladly take all this. I need to make some more copper pickaxes, actually. They're mining really quickly now. I'm going to give you copper. You get copper. And he's called a giga driller now. Oh my gosh, they have two pickaxes. Okay. All right, there you go, buddy. There you go. Oh yeah, and I can upgrade the same right here, Brian, now, which is going to become a knight here, Brian. Okay. And we also got a book. So now that we have the book, something we can apparently do is summon one here, Brian, and with this book, we can upgrade this here, Brian, and now he has the role of storyteller? Okay. So, what happens when I right click you? Would you like to hear a story? Yes, I would like to hear a story. I would very much. I've lived for thousands of years, and I have plenty of stories to tell. Very nice. Don't die! Um, here, Brian, your stories are kind of weird, but you also give me XP every time I right click you. I'm level 33. I did not realize I was getting that much XP, but okay. And something that I got a little bit curious about that I haven't made yet is I can make a wooden hammer, which is kind of weird to Minecraft, and then after the a wooden hammer, we can also make a stone hammer, and you guys will see what I do with this very soon. Let me real quick get one more summoner, and let's not die because this pickaxe guy is going crazy right now. No, 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 no. Here, Brian. Here, Brian. You're, you're mining lava. I, I guess I can't really complain because he's here, Brian, so he can literally do anything. Anyways, though, let's get out of there, and hopefully these guys find diamonds soon. It feels like they can't mine diamonds, though, so I should probably upgrade them to gold when I can, but now that we have the hammer, I can go ahead and right-click here, Brian, and what happens when I right-click it? Oh, and he's a dirty here. Brian, what? Okay, I guess right click. Oh, no, wait, here, Brian's come back. Okay, welcome back. Wait, what is this, though? Did this guy just build a giant thing of dirt? And apparently, the dirty hero Brian literally built a giant flaming curse looking thing. Okay, guess we got a new base, guys. Oh, good. Nope, never mind. They are breaking the base. Okay, but on the bright side, what we can go ahead and do is use the stone hammer and dirty hero Brian. You're, I guess, gonna be coming a hut master hero Brian. Okay, well, what are you gonna be building now? Oh my gosh. Oh, don't die, guys. Okay, let me real quick summon everyone back. All right, welcome back, guys. Apparently, we now have a hut as a base. I'm gonna go inside real quick and there's a, literally a dragon head inside and oh an ancient table not bad water bucket too sure love me some water buckets i used to be a water bucket i know i say i'm a new thing every time but i'm not lying this time i was a water bucket so hopefully you guys uh respect that anyways let's go down and i swear every time i go back outside all these hero brines are literally mining a ginormous area and we still have so many more upgrades to do so with that being said the next thing we're going to be making is apparently with a golden pickaxe and when we go up to a pickaxe guy this should work i think so we have giga driller and now we got jack hammer. 
Oh, okay. What do you do, buddy? Do you, do you just uh, do I right click you? Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Um, do you mind diamonds? Anyways, though, now that I've seen that, let's uh, make four more of these and get these guys all upgraded. This video is going really fast, but um, we're apparently fighting a whole team of dragons, so I gotta get the best team possible. I only have a leather helmet still, but it's all good. Okay, how's it going, guys? You get an upgrade. You get an upgrade. Okay, gotta upgrade all these guys. We're gonna be having the greatest army of all time. All right, let me upgrade you real quick. There you go. Okay, so now I gotta activate these. So if I just right click them, they go on and do their thing. Oh, by the way, do you have a story for me? Oh, buy next door Lunar Cape and a free code right there. Nice. We're at Y level 18, so I definitely gotta find diamonds soon. Anyways, though, we might as well keep upgrading these hero brines and try to get a little bit closer to the end. And uh, I guess Night Hero Brine, now you get a golden sword and you become a ninja hero brine. Okay, very nice, man. Anyways, though, uh, I guess for the next one, we can go ahead and make a copper hammer. And where is the builder? Oh, wait, they're killing people. Oh, gosh, wait, I'm gonna get that round flesh. I'm kind of running out of hero brine soldiers. And the main thing I'm missing is not really materials, but just raw and flesh. So with the raw and flesh, let's real quick get a little bit more soul summon. So that's gonna be nine more soldiers at least. But where is the builder man? There he is. Okay, so hunt master. And now with the copper. Oh, wait, did I not upgrade him? Oh, I'm dumb, guys. I completely forgot I need to make the iron one first. So let me make one of these. And okay, there we go. Okay, so this probably isn't a good idea. But if we go up to the hunt master, right click him, he's now gonna become a builder chief. And I should probably not do it inside this building because we're kind of making a whole empire building. So let's get you guys over here. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. There he is. Okay, so I guess go build something. Right click. Oh my gosh. Holy. Okay, Um, guys, come back here and what the heck? So it looks like he spawned an entire barn thing. Uh, You guys go to work. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't break the base. No, no, no. Is there anything in here that we need? Okay, it looks empty for now. We got some more bread and oh, diamonds. Oddly enough, the jackhammer did not find the diamonds, but instead, literally the builder found the diamonds. I'm not gonna complain about that at all. And it looks like the current pickaxe guys don't my diamonds. So in the meantime, let's get our own diamonds. And uh, oh, you guys might want to fight. Oh, dang, Jackhammer. Dang. All right. Well, and something we can go ahead and make is uh, let's make our first diamond pickaxe. And now we can go ahead and upgrade our first pickaxe guy to diamond pickaxe guy. Now, I'm not really sure what to expect from him. So there you go. What do you become now? A chunk master. Oh, oh, please don't break bad rock. Okay. Let's right click you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, guys, we have diamonds. We we now are literally gonna upgrade our whole our whole hero brine armor to diamonds here. We have a stack. All right, new plan, guys, because the hero brines are getting way too overpowered too quick. We are definitely gonna be fighting an entire army of dragon. It feels like so. Let's make a double chest. And what we can do for now, actually, because we definitely have a lot of really OP pickaxe guys, is make four more diamond pickaxes. And this might not be a good idea, but Chunk Master, you right click you. Oh gosh, look at him go. Oh my god, he literally mined diamonds. Right click you. Go on and do your thing. No no, no, don't mind the chest. Thank you very much. And I can even go ahead and make one diamond sword. And I guess we'll upgrade our samurai. We got to get a lot of swords, guys, very soon. But for now, we can go ahead and get a tanky hero brine. Oh, oh, yes, two swords. That's got a goal. Actually, I think there might be something with a gold block that we can make. So let's go ahead and do another summon. And with the gold block, what do you become? An alchemist hero brine. And what do you do, buddy? Do you do kind of just, uh... Hang around. Not really sure what he does, but he kind of looks cool. He has a gold ingot and an iron ingot, so I guess we'll figure out what he does in the future. And another guy that we can also add to our army of trying to beat the game is, uh, with an anvil. So what are you gonna do? Oh, oh, they're fighting. Tank guy. Go, go kill. Oh, look at him go. He's so slow. Oh, gosh. All the hero brines are killing all the mobs. Nice. Anyways, so with the anvil, normal hero brine. Let's get you upgraded. And now we get a repairman hero brine. Oh, oh, and he repaired everything. Not that I really have anything, but should I do this challenge only with a leather chest plate? I feel like it kind of makes more sense, especially because I'm I'm trying to beat the game through these guys, so I might not make any armor just to make this a little bit more interesting, but something I can actually make now because I saw a skeleton over there. Where is the bone? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So with this bone, we can actually go out and make another hero, Brian. And oddly enough, with one bone, what do you become? Oh, a hunter. Okay, literally a hunter here, Brian, with a bunch of dogs. And they're called here, Brian, wolves. Not bad. All right, nice, guys. I haven't seen all my soldiers in a bit, so let's see how big our army got now. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're, we're getting very big. So what we can do now is, with the copper hammer, where is the builder guy? Oh, builder chief. Okay, so we're gonna go that way, just in case we lose that chest. Actually, I should probably grab everything I like in that chest. Honestly, I can get all this really quickly besides that and maybe that. So now we get a architect here, Brian. So let's go this way, put down the corrupted soul, make sure no one dies to this lava, because I appreciate my 
combat soldiers. You know, there we go. We're going to do this a little bit higher just in case anything bad happens. So architect. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Oh no, don't die guys. Don't die. Okay. Please come down. Okay. What the heck is this? Okay. Well, I definitely looks like he did some architecture right now. What the heck? Oh my gosh. This is literally only copper tier. We still got to do gold and diamond and then we got to go to netherite and this is already insane. What the heck? Well, if we go to the very top, it just looks like a lot of copper. Really cool build though. We're also above ground now, so I could get some more soldiers with rotten flesh. So actually not a bad idea. I almost died there too. Okay, let's not do that again. So actually, all right, here, Brian's come out here real quick. Go and do some murder, even though that, that's kind of bad, but zombies is all good. Oh, look at them go. Okay, literally just gonna collect some rotten flesh real quick. Not bad. And uh, some soul summoners. There we go. Eight soul summoners. And the learning project's going crazy. Oh, look at him go. Oh my gosh, look at all these zombies. Uh, real quick though. Uh, yeah, here, here, Brian, guys, go, go, go him. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we are not gonna be dying now. We only have one life. So while they do that, let me grab some of the mob blue. And something I actually really did need is some strings. So the good time to go up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have 12 rotten flesh. So uh, with the 12 rotten flesh, let's go ahead and make 20 soul summoners that is gonna be 20 more hero binds and there's so much more so that wasn't the best idea because we kind of lost half our army but on the bright side we did get a lot more soldiers so after that we now have a total of 33 potential soldiers and we also have bows so with our first bow we can go ahead and introduce our next soldier which is gonna be a bowman hero bind. very nice and let's try them all actually over here go 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 oh there they've they've killed him instantly okay also a drug miner you can go ahead and mine some chunks and we do need a little bit more diamonds now or actually you just found diamonds instantly not bad oh this man is going insane oh my gosh anyways though let's get back to actually doing some stuff so because we have the bowman now apparently i can also make a stone bow which i'm not really sure how that's gonna work but i guess we're gonna try to make a stone bow is it like this oh okay literally stone bow what happens when i shoot this thing it is just a bow made of stone not bad all right let's call these guys back real quick uh where is the bow guy oh there he is okay bowman you're now a stone archer bowman so he's just an archer bowman not bad i guess we'll go ahead and involve him multiple times so the next thing we're gonna be making is a uh, one iron bow and because i can we can also go ahead and make a copper bow we're, we're gonna go all the way up right now and i guess after copper we can go ahead and make a gold bow which again very cursed but i guess we're doing it and finally with the last string we have a full-on diamond bow and i'm gonna guess we can also make a netherite bow but until then i guess we're gonna upgrade you to now be a, a crowbow well what is a crowbow who knows if you made this part of the video comment down below crowbow because that's barely a new thing. Anyways, now we become a multi-shot bowman. Oh gosh, okay, these guys are getting really OP. But after this guy, we can go ahead and use the gold bow and oh, and there we go, a gunman hairbind. Oh my gosh! Wait, wait. Um, I kind of want to see that in action, but it doesn't seem like there's any mobs here, and they've already killed all the mobs around me. And I'm realizing now, I literally have 24 more of these, so we can now spawn in literally an army of 56 more hairbinds before we go to the final battle. But gunman hairbind, what happens? If I give you a diamond bow. Machine gunner? That's a Uzi. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's summon the crew again, even though I don't really have much of you guys left because a lot of them already died. Oh no, wait. Oh gosh, guys, I only have four of them left. I've lost so many of them. So we only have the architect, chunk miner, jackhammer, and machine gunner left. That is not a good look. But on the bright side, we do have 56 more of these guys. So what we could do next is actually just upgrade the architect because the next thing we would have to make is a literally a... Uh, golden hammer but before we do this let's head up a little bit actually wait uh jack hammer come back i'm gonna give you a diamond pickaxe oh wait that's a geode that's cool there we go okay now he's a diamond pickaxe guy not bad okay so let's real quick summon these guys back now i'm gonna give this guy a golden hammer and now we have a designer here brian what are you gonna give us like a designer brand thing well what is this oh <gasps> Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, that's a big old statue. Also, that is a lot of mobs. Hey guys, uh, you guys go take care of that. Oh my gosh. The machine gunner is going ham. Actually, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and summon a couple more airplanes. Anyways, you're going to become a hunter and you right there are going to become a crafting table here, Brian, because I actually need one of you guys again. So crafting table here, Brian, not bad. Because the last structure was so cool, I kind of want to go straight to the diamond one now. And I guess we'll see what the builder has for us now. So I guess now we have almost a 
a full diamond team and this guy's gonna become a master builder oh might as well do it up there all right all right minions everyone alive we're good nice oh my gosh that is so cool looking what the heck anyways though uh now with the master builder build us something oh okay uh i'm not really sure what we're inside but let's get out of here as soon as we can okay but it looks like we now have literally a lifetime supply of just diamond blocks oh my gosh oh i see now okay this is literally the avengers tower somehow and i kind of want to go to the top so actually uh minions we're gonna go up there well it's kind of just like a platform and you can really see a lot with some nether brick fences which reminds me i should probably go to the nether now because i have pretty much everything i'm gonna need in the game except netherite so with that being said I survived that. I should have not risked that. I would have literally lost the game if I died there. But let's get you guys back and let's go ahead and mine some obsidian to get to the nether. Oh, this is actually really convenient. Uh, I guess I'll go to the nether with this. Not bad. Okay, so I kind of just realized something. I could go to the nether right now with all the hero brines and get nether right that way. But something that didn't make sense to me until now is that with the gold block and then one hero brine and when I made the alchemist, it actually means that I can right click this guy with iron and every single time I click, I literally get a golden ingot instead. So I guess he does alchemy and make stuff but what we can do also is apparently with a diamond block so when i right click the alchemist we get an advanced alchemist hero brine and so with the gold we got we can just right click this guy and now we pretty much have unlimited diamonds from gold not like we were already very overpowered but it doesn't stop there apparently because what i realized is that we literally have a netherrack around us and when we grab one netherrack i messed up it's not netherrack it's actually obsidian my bad okay and with obsidian we can upgrade this guy to an advanced alchemist Alchemist Herobrine. Wait, was that the same name again? I have no idea. But how this works is that he's going to be taking blaze rods for ender pearls. But how do I get blaze rods? Hold up. Oh, okay, okay. Let me zoom in you real quick. So apparently I kind of got it wrong. So he's actually a nether alchemist here, Brian. And I'm supposed to right click him with netherrack. And then what do I get? Oh, that's a little bit of a shortcut. But with netherrack, we're going to be making 25 blaze powder. And then with the blaze rods, if we right click here, Brian, or is it blaze powder? Oh, Oh, okay. Yep. It's blaze powder. Okay. So I literally made that blaze powder for no reason. So I guess now with all the blaze rods, we can go in and just spam click this. And just like that, 16 ender pearls, which we didn't even need to go to the nether. I mean, the hero brines are literally doing everything for me right now. Also, I kind of need more space. So uh, chunk miner, go to your thing. And now that we have everything we need with the blaze rods, we can upgrade this guy one more time. And then we get, what is this going to be actually? An ultimate alchemist hero brine. And I'm guessing he's like diamonds here again. But from what I'm reading, it says to give him some diamond blocks and then I get something. It doesn't say what I get though, so what do I get? All right, and now we have our final alchemist, which is gonna be the ultimate alchemist here, Brian, with a diamond block and a netherite ingot. And with these diamond blocks, oh, yep. Okay, netherite ink is just like that, guys. And so just like that, we skipped the entire nether portion of the video. But with this netherite and blaze rods, we should be able to actually make some better soldiers now. So before anything, let's make a smithing table. And inside, let's real quick, why not make a diamond pickaxe, get the netherite ingot, netherite pickaxe. And I'm kind of curious. So what do you guys do with the netherite pickaxe? Laser miner here, Brian. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. So he just fires lasers. No, my smithing table. Very unfortunate, Ashley. But on the bright side, I guess we literally have lasers now. Anyways, though, the second thing I kind of want to make that I'm really curious about is actually... Oh, netherite bow. So what comes after machine gunner? Oh, my gosh. Okay. A rocket soldier here. <laughs> he has a TNT RPG. Well, if any mob comes here, they are literally screwed. And we still have so many more hero brands to make. 23. And actually, before... Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more netherite. So, uh, my man, give me some more netherite. Thank you very much. And now I think for the best part, and that's going to be seeing what we get from a diamond sword one. Oh, wait, actually, this is kind of awkward because we kind of lost our swordsman earlier. So, I got to make all the swords real quick. And now with the tanky here, Brian, let's finally see what we can get with the netherite sword. A hover soldier here, Brian. Kind of anticlimactic, honestly, but I guess we'll see what he does once we fight the dragon army. And now that we have that, I guess we can finally move on to some more advanced things, which the first thing I'm going to be making is gonna be a sorcerer here, Brian, which is gonna, oddly enough, take us one blade spider, so I guess I'll make two of them. Oh! 
Uh, man spawned a little bit too many, but I guess because we have so many, we'll make a bunch of sorcerers. I don't even know what they do. All right, what's a sorcerer? Sorcerer here, Brian, and do you give me anything? I guess I'll make a lot of you guys. Why not? All right, you become a sorcerer, you become a sorcerer, and you become a sorcerer. Oh, wait, where's the builder? Actually, oh, wait, netherite hammer. I am gonna go back to the service before using this one, but where's the builder? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't mean for you to build that, but okay. There we go. That's more like it. Structure god here, Brian. Right, so let's see what this guy can build up on the surface. All right, so where Okay, so structure god, I guess give us something good. Oh my, holy, okay, well, okay, it doesn't look like this place has anything besides just looking really insanely good, but I guess on the bright side, we can go ahead and start making our giant army literally right here, so before anything, I might as well go and summon all 45, so uh, here we go. Come on, minions, let's go, and just like that, guys, we have like 50 hero brights. Okay, I guess we just gotta start making stuff. Okay, so right here, we have one machine gun here, Brian. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's been quite the grind, but when I turn around, you guys are really about to see the real hero Brian army that we now have for the end. So, uh, yeah. So introducing, guys, literally an army of like 100 hero Brian soldiers. We have gunmen, we have rocket soldiers, we have machine gunners, and there's definitely a lot of them. So with that being said, guys, let me get down and pick ads. You guys can see all the stuff that I've been making this whole time right there. And we're gonna try to beat this game right now with only a leather chest plate. So I have Enders straight that way. And without further ado, guys, let's go try to beat the dragon army. And hopefully I don't die in the process with only a leather chest plate. Okay, I have Ender and... All right, so I think it might be down here. And before we go down, actually... Okay, yep. Uh, Right, so I think the stronghold's right under us and I should have not recalled right there, but I guess on the bright side, let's go straight down. Actually, wait, where's the pickaxe guy? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find him anywhere, so let's just go ahead and dig straight down and hope for the best. Also, one thing I realized on the way here is that there's actually- Oh, gosh! One thing I realized before we got here was that there's actually one more here, Brian, that we can make, and apparently it's the best one, but we can only make it once we're in the end. So with that being said, let's try to find the portal and also not die at the same time. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, I need to make one more eye vendor, don't I? Dang it. Final eye vendor, and just like that, guys, we can finally go to the end. I only have a black leather chest plate, which is gonna be one and a half armor bars, and I might even play it more risky, because Hero Brian's gonna beat the game for me, so I think I'm gonna take off the chest plate, and without further ado, guys, let someone in the army, and I think it might be time, guys, to finally see if we can beat Minecraft with only Hero Brian. So, without further ado, let's go. Oh, gosh! Okay, um, how do I get out? I need to get out. <laughs> okay. We're kind of naked right now, so I gotta be a little bit careful, but I also don't see a dragon bar. It doesn't look like there's a dragon yet, which makes me a little bit suspicious, but for now, let's mainly worry about here, Brian. Don't, don't go fight here, Brian. But with Endstone, we get... Wait, what are you? Literally a king here, Brian, with a really cool looking sword. All right, I guess the battle's gonna be starting pretty much very soon. Where are the dragons, though? So this might work. What if I just teleport them to be? All right, recalling minions, and oh, and here we go, guys. Oh, wait, oh, oh, holy, this is a war. This is a war, war. There are so many dragons. I'm not even sure what's going on, but this is insane. Literally an army of here, Brian, versus an army of dragons, and I I should probably run away. My computer cannot handle this. My computer literally is dying right now. Oh, wow. The netherite soldiers are doing work over there, guys. This might look like a slideshow right now, but it is a mega war. Look at all that destruction. Wait, did we win? Wait, we won. They're all gone. Yeah, I think that might be it, guys. But with all that being done, guys, that is going to be it for Minecraft. But Hero Brian literally beat the game for me. I did not do a single hit to that dragon. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.